So I thought that we'd pop into town, go to the antique market, pop into a couple of charity shops. There's a little antique emporium, which I always forget about. So we'll go in there too. Oh dear, I just got asked to stop filming. I'm sure you're interested to see if I bought anything. It's Thursday, which means that my local town has a little antique market on. So I thought that we'd pop into town, go to the antique market and have a quick whiz around there. Maybe pop into a couple of charity shops. And I've also remembered that there's a little antique emporium, which I always forget about. So we'll go in there too. I'm parked up now, so let me show you a little bit of Fakenham. This is the old cinema, which we absolutely adore. And I'm here at the moment in the upper market, which is where fruit and flowers and general bits and pieces are sold. And the lower market is where the antiques are. So it's only a small market, but it's really well supported and people come from all over the local area. I love this building that the greengrocers is in. Oh no, I've come down to the lower market and it's almost empty. I wasn't expecting this at all. Where is everyone? It's not that cold, it's not raining. I'll just have to look at the few stalls that are here. That's a bit disappointing. I like those tins. Interesting pictures too. It's like a ghost town. Oh, jolly good. I can see Quinton, my favourite fake and antique dealer. He's got lots of stock as well, so let's dive in and see what he's got. These candlesticks are fabulous. They're really heavy. Great shape. Pair too. Quinton's stall is just fab. He's really got a great eye and everything is always clean and orderly and price fairly. It's very difficult to resist anything on Quinton's stall. Let's dive into the 40 pence box to see what we can find. I haven't had any luck here for a few weeks. Oh, look at this little jug. That's so sweet. Oh, I can just imagine some little miniature flowers in there. I'm still on the lookout for a set of pretty crystal wine glasses. I do need quite a few though. Gosh, that's pretty. I'm trying to stick rigidly to the colours that I've got, so that doesn't fit into any of my colours, but I do like that. This is sweet Carlton ware. Look at this little banana tray and a pear and a lemon, I think that is. So cute. Moving on from Quinton, let's go to the next stall along. Some beautiful things too. I'm so tempted with this, but do I need another tea strainer? Never seen one like that before. I can tell you that I did buy something on this stall, but I'll show you later. Now this is all house clear. It's just boxes and boxes of what some people would call tat, others would call treasures. You really have to rummage through these to find anything that's half decent. And there's another house clearance stall outside. Just boxes and boxes of stuff. It's really quite chilly today, so I'm going to head up to the antique centre because I'm not having a lot of luck so far. Oh dear, I just got asked to stop filming. Um, I did explain that it helped promote the business and that um, I know that sometimes people call the Emporium so if they see something that they fancy and they actually buy it over the phone, but uh, no, they weren't having any of it. Um, they were really quite rude and grumpy. But anyway, um, sorry about that. I'll see what else I can find now to show you. Okay, so let's pop into a couple of charity shops. Although I am feeling a bit nervous now about filming. I really don't want anyone else to tell me to stop filming. Just whizzing round. I tend not to be hugely successful in faking them charity shops, but as I always say, you just never know. Always looking for curtains. That's nice Dalton. Oh, 
Oh, those are lovely. I do like those. A mason's jug, that's an unusual pattern. I haven't seen that one before. This little shop, the Home Bird, is a fabulous new addition to Fakenham shops. It sells old and new and a really lovely eclectic mix. It's a little shop and it was really busy today. I have asked if I can film, so I'm confident that I'm okay to film in here. So let's have a quick whiz around. There's all sorts of things. These are pretty. I've got so much glassware I don't need any more. These are interesting. I do like looking at old postcards and pamphlets. I'm sure you're interested to see if I bought anything and I'm sorry that this video is shorter than I anticipated. Um, it was a bit of a shock when the antique centre said that I couldn't film in there and although I don't fully understand I think that any videoing and YouTubing is good for business um, I do have to respect them so it's just a bit shorter than I planned but anyway let me show you what I bought not a lot um, it's my daughter Imogen's 18th birthday next week and I wanted something interesting to put on top of her cake and I've seen that you can buy miniature candelabra cake toppers um, but in true vintage style I found a little vintage candelabra which I think will just look fab on top of her cake. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this very short video and I will catch up again with you soon. Bye for now!